Alison's personality described in one word is probably neurotic. Or to use two words, extremely neurotic. She's barked at her own reflection. Alison is very scared of new people when they come through the door or if they're just walking by. Originally a rescue pup, Alison's travelled the world with Yvonne. Have a good smell. That's it. This is called data gathering. <laughs> Dogs have around 220 million scent receptors in their noses. We have about 6 million. What do you smell there? We call her our problem child. She barks, she's anxious, she's scared. Desperate for mum and dad's understanding, Alison's behaviour is a cry for help. Sometimes we don't do enough. And I feel you need to do more. You're absolutely right. We have been lazy. You know, we have been lazy about it. I didn't even think about the impact it was having on her not having that stimulation. The final step is giving Alison a safe place so there's no need to hide under the coffee table. Come on, come on, come on. The answer, a day bed with a roof close to mum and dad. As you can see, she really likes it. She does. I mean, literally, she's closed her eyes. Look at her. <laughs> Even better, it's portable. With this bed, I feel like there's, there's going to be this growing sense of security that she'll have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and safety. It can be a place that she can go into and feel snug and that you can take with you. This is just a note of caution. Don't ever make her bed a place to go for punishment. Right. I think it's great because we have been feeling the disconnect. So it's going to be really nice to see her closer to us. Mm -hmm. I love it when a plant comes together. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we were great parents, but Victoria has shown us um, where we're going wrong. When I first came here, I saw a dog that was a little conflicted, didn't trust you very much. Now, hopefully, you'll just have an easier life with her, mm -hmm. but you have to walk her. Yeah. It's just all about now doing the things that she's told us to do, and I really think that that will make a big difference. Good luck. I will see you again. Great. All right? Forward to it. Hey, you're welcome. We are definitely going to take more responsibility for Alison because we love her. Hello, hi. Hello, pretty girl. How are you? Very Great. well, you? Yeah, I'm very good, thank you. How's it been going? It's been going great. I take her out. She can run for like an hour mm -hmm. and not be tired. Mm -hmm. She just loves it. And the walking is a de-stressor, both for you and for her. I see the bed has remained in place. How's that been going? She loves it. So much. I do see a big difference from when I first came here to now, mm. that she's much less barky, mm. she's much less stressed. It's reduced her stress, and as a result, it's reduced our stress <laughs> as well. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.